My name is Michael Waddington, and I'm a criminal defense attorney. If you are accused of any serious offense under the UCMJ, such as a UCMJ Article 120 sexual assault, then you should be concerned. Right now, the military is waging a war on sexual assault. You can expect a zealous and determined prosecution team coming after you and trying to win their case. These elite military prosecution teams are well-funded, well-trained, and bound and determined to win convictions. They are on a mission to prove to Congress that the military does not tolerate any form of sexual assault, domestic violence, or sexual harassment. Military prosecutors will be relentless in seeking a conviction in serious jail time once they have you in their sights. To make matters worse, under new laws that went into effect in December of 2023, the new military justice system is victim-centered. What that means to you if you're accused is that if a person makes an allegation against you, they are believed from the start. They won't probe the credibility of a person making an allegation. They won't look for any evidence that could disprove the allegation. They're taking anyone who claims to be a victim and they're taking their word for it. That also means that people who have made false or exaggerated allegations will not be punished, even if their allegation is proven to be false. If anything, they may be allowed to retire and get military benefits for military sexual trauma, even if the allegation is proven false in court. You could expect to encounter law enforcement trained to start by believing. Therefore, you're presumed to be guilty once the investigation has started and the law enforcement and prosecutors will act accordingly. Yes, that cuts against your constitutional rights, and that cuts against what our country was founded upon and what we stand for, but that's what you can expect in the military justice system. In this new victim-centered approach, the victim, even if the victim is a lying victim, plays a key role in determining what happens to you. What could end up happening is in a case where there's no evidence or if you're in fact innocent, the victim may still insist that you get some sort of punishment, even if you're innocent and there is no evidence, do not be surprised that you end up at a court-martial, an administrative separation board, or receiving some sort of negative paperwork, such as a letter reprimand. If you are under investigation for any crime under the UCMJ, then you need to stand up and take responsibility for your defense. Don't become another statistic. Don't play the victim. Don't sit back hoping that someone comes to the rescue or that things are gonna work out. It's time to stand up, fight for your freedom, fight for your career, and fight for your reputation. Thank you.